Greetings, I'm Whitney Olson. I'm a faculty member in the Department of English at Utah State University and a digital faculty consultant for McGraw-Hill Education. My academic background is in the areas of English, information science, and instructional technology and learning sciences. I've been using Connect for a number of years now, including the peer review tool, which I found to be highly sophisticated and a powerful enhancement to my face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online courses. I began using the online peer review tool when I decided to expand my peer review workshop model for my face-to-face -face courses from one rough draft workshop per essay to two rough draft workshops per essay. The peer review tool was the ideal solution because it allowed me to expand the number of peer review workshops without having an impact on what needed to be taught that week. For my online classes, it also allows me to have peer review workshops in a tool built specifically for that purpose. It is seamless and streamlined for me and my students. In my face-to-face -face classes, I hold one workshop in class as usual and assign the second peer review as homework online to be completed by certain deadlines, posting the rough draft in Connect by a certain date, then providing peer review comments by another date. For example, in my Tuesday-Thursday classes, students may post their revised rough draft on a Thursday, complete peer review comments over the weekend before midnight the following Tuesday, and then revise and turn in the final draft before midnight on Thursday. I also use the tool to take the place of selected face-to-face -face peer review workshops in hybrid courses and to incorporate productive, intuitive peer review into my online courses. The design of the online peer review is an excellent substitute for, or adjunct to, traditional face-to-face -face peer review workshopping, with rubrics, workshop questions and prompts, commenting, and group organization tools, plus a design in line with the theory of collaborative learning of our field, the peer review tool is superb in both theory and practice. The tool is an excellent solution because it requires no uploading or downloading of attachments for commenting. Workshop questions, optional outcomes rubrics, and the commenting tool are built right into the peer review function, so everything students need is right at their fingertips. The peer review function is designed specifically for collaborative peer review of written work, so it fits seamlessly into our course workflows, and my students find it intuitive and easy to use. When I grade peer-reviewed assignments and other writing assignments, I have the same built-in commenting functionality as my students have to comment on each other's papers. For me, that means no downloading and uploading of dozens of attachments and having to comment in an external program. I save a great deal of time by eliminating these administrative tasks, and by grading in Connect, I'm saving about 50% more time than I was in another major learning management system, and about 25% over paper-based grading. I can immediately view the student's rough draft or drafts, the comments made by his or her peers, and the final draft. At any stage, I can easily make comments just by highlighting text and clicking the comment button that appears. I can tag my comments with course outcomes and also use a point-and-click outcomes rubric that automatically calculates outcome, category, and overall scores for myself and or my students. The outcomes score functions separately from the scoring area on peer-reviewed and other writing assignments. As a result, there's a variety of ways you can use the value the program generates. Some instructors use the resulting number to equate to a point or percentage grade. For example, for an assignment with a course rubric on a scale from 1 to 5, and the student achieves a 4.6, the instructor might equate that to 92 points, or 92%, or some other value depending on his or her preferences and pedagogy. Rubrics can also be set up on a scale of 1 to 100, 6 to 10, or any other numerical value to give you the desired results at the end of the day. Outcome scores can also be used just to inform students of their performance in different areas and to inform them of the grading process. Because the final outcome score does not change or affect the box where the final score and comments are typed, the outcome score could be very different than the final score. For example, a student might have done high quality writing but only completed half the required number of pages. The outcome score might be high but the final score might be low. The program permits for this approach as well. For any scoring approach, you as the instructor choose whether students can see the completed rubric or not. It may be for your purposes only, their purposes only, or for the benefit of both you and the student. Ultimately, the use of the peer review tool has the potential to rise above traditional face-to-face -face peer review as it pushes multiple modalities and media to bring this collaborative experience to students. Connect's digital peer review has allowed me to extend my classroom beyond its usual limitations.